This video relates the fact theorem with division of polynomials. We're given a function and we're asked to show that x equals 1 is a root. Now a root is quite simply a value such that if you put it into the function the answer is 0. So if I let x equal 1, 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared plus 2 times 1 take away 6 equals 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 take away 6 which equals 0. So therefore because the answer is 0 1 must be a root. Right. The next part is the trickier part. Hence factorise. Now because we know that 1 is a root then we know that x minus 1 is a factor. So to find the other factors, I've got to divide x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 6 by our known factor. And I do this using my own method, which it probably is worth knowing. I do a fairly rough grid and write down the factor I know on the left hand side. I'll just put some columns down, it doesn't matter. Really, I'm quite messy on purpose here. Right then, I want an x cubed. I put that into the top left. Now, to get an x cubed requires an x squared. But minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared. And I need to have 3x squared, so I need another 4x squared in total. Those two terms combine to give me that term there. There's an x there. So to get 4x squared requires a 4x. 4x times minus 1 is minus 4x. But I need a 2x. So I need another 6x. These two terms combine to give me 2x. There's an x there, so I need a 6. And 6 times minus 1 is minus 6. So as you can see, we've got back to the required number there. So therefore, our other factor is the thing across the top. So therefore I know that x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 6 factorises to x minus 1 our known factor, our new factor x squared plus 4x plus 6. The question says to factorise fully, however this part here does not factorise any further Therefore, this is our final answer.